you see your book? Whoa. Oh, Merry Christmas. Come on, I put a chair twins up, man. I got an iPod and iPod. I put a chair twins up, see? Yeah. Mom. Mom, I got an iPod and iPod. Yeah. Mom, I got an iPod and iPod. Yeah. Mom, I got an iPod and iPod. What do we know about people? Well, I know that you can interview them, fall in love with them, Move away with them. Sleep in the same bed with them every night. And still not know them at all. But today, Cheryl Wright admitted she not only knew all about the murder of her ex-husband, Memphis basketball star Lorenzo Wright, she helped plan it and was there when bullets took his life. I know you're saying your son, you still feel his spirit. You still yes. feel him speaking to you. Yes. Do you feel him speaking to you right now being here? Breeze on my, if I show you, look, my arm's hot. Girls, I got a breeze where I feel cool right now. There ain't no bad for him. Oh, Lord, I already know. <laughs> you know, she finally warmed up and said, okay, I facilitated this. I planned this. But why? Who, who did it benefit? Maybe she needed someone to know that nice, bright side of her because the media, all we know is the monster. She's like, okay, let's go down to the lake. So we pull around from the lake house down to this very um, spot down here, and she just started taking the clothes off. Those individuals typically don't have the capacity for genuine remorse or guilt. They lack the ability to empathize with other people. They're also extremely manipulative. Shara physically, purposely, physically and purposely took me to some woods that had nothing to do with his death and watch me go through the woods looking for a spot that she knew was not there. You know, really when they found Lorenzo, it, it was a sort of shock wave. It hit all the news network. This is the actual condo when Cheryl flew into uh, town in Atlanta and came and unlocked the window for uh, Billy Ray Turner and uh, Jimmy Martin. But all of my memories about Lorenzo were all good. That's all I know him by. He was a good kid. He did well, um, he did well. Oh, you keep on watching the news. You keep on watching. Wow, wow. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm just saying, that, that's, I'm just giving you an appetizer. Okay. For the bangers. 